eat 500 fewer calories and you'll lose a pound of fat per week. It's unquestionably false. That's true, but you need to explain that really well. So this idea that just eat fewer calories will automatically lead to weight loss is completely false because we know that eating fewer calories leads also to burning fewer calories. So you eat 500 less, your body burns 500 less, and you're not losing any body weight. This is a terrible clip to explain a totally natural phenomenon. Let's make this super easy. If I burn 3,500 calories every day, but I only eat 3,000 calories, I will lose weight. In theory, this 500 calorie deficit equates to around a pound of weight loss per week. But do any of you think I would lose weight forever by doing this? No. I can't eat 3,000 calories per day until I vanish. As I lose weight, my body won't require as much energy. A small dog needs less food than a big dog, right? A small boat needs less fuel than a massive yacht, Right? Bigger animals and bigger humans tend to need more energy than little animals and little humans. If I keep eating the same amount of energy, my calorie deficit disappears. If you want to lose a lot of weight, you can't just eat a little bit less food than you do now and then do that forever. If you want to keep that deficit the same, you would need to do something like this. It is true, when you change the number of calories you eat, your body responds by changing the number of calories it burns. This can be referred to as a dynamic model of energy balance. But Jason has historically exaggerated the fuck out of this phenomenon, to imply that reducing your calorie intake will never lead to weight loss. He has even referenced research which calls out professionals for making it sound like these metabolic adaptations make weight loss impossible, whilst he pretends that these metabolic metabolic adaptations make weight loss impossible. He is being silly. Because if this happens, it's because you lost weight. It is totally fucking normal. If anything, it's a sign that this bit worked. Yes, your body adapts when you change how much you feed it. But no, this does not dispute the importance of calories. No, low carb and intermittent fasting diets are not magic solutions that bypass this phenomenon, like he continuously implies. But hey, it leads to a great sales pitch to sell you intermittent fasting coaching for $400 per 45 minute session.